Hello and welcome to the Cyclops Road What Is This video. Hi there, I'm Tom Alazzo and I'm the author of The Faith Machine and Pink of the Ghost and this is Cyclops Road which is a chance for writers to get to show what we do. We don't want to show ourselves typing. We don't want to show ourselves editing. We want to show ourselves doing the fun stuff, the world building. So we're using a game called Microscope and this video will show you how to play it. Uh, it Microscope is, it builds itself as a role playing game but it's much more of a world building game. It's a people, bunch of people sitting around uh, in, in real life a stack of index cards. We'll be using a website called Utgar's Chronicles to do it. But spitballing ideas and uh, on a theme and eventually fleshing out a story. So, like I mentioned, Utgar's Chronicles is the webpage that we use to play this game on. It's a free utility, which is brilliant. I uh, love this. Um, you sign up for free. And you just log in, like you do. And I'll be the host for this, so I'll be, you'll see this is a history that I already created. This is the demo that I did with Mark. Um, so, I'll create a new history. Let's see, um, seven D's Samurai. So kind of a, and you can see how bad I am at spelling. Oh, I spelled both of those wrong. So let's just go ahead and fix that. All right. So, uh, pitching a game, sort of, sort of a uh, Starsky and Hutch and Samurai kind of thing. And then I would send this as I'm the game master in this case. I'm, well, not the game master, it's a game master's game, but I would send this link out to everybody who's I've already got their accounts ready. And then we go ahead and join the game. And you see our, our theme of 70 Samurais up here. And then First step is we all agree, and this is all communal at this level, we all agree what the starting period and the ending period are. So let's like narrow this really far down. So let's go ahead and uh, do sort of a, a warrior's level scale where it's just one city for a couple of years. So um, major gang line, ooh, but it's a samurai thing. So um, oh, major gang war starts. City, just keep it like that. Oh, I'll, maybe I'll spell major right, or I'm not. And that would be the sort of the setting off point for our story. Oh, and I should go in there and edit that because I forgot to make it. Where do we edit? This is not a light thing. A major gang war is not light. It'll be dark. So that's just sort of sets the tone for it. And then we save that period. And then I add a final period. Um, the city is cleaned up of crime because that happens, and that would that would be a light thing. So I'll leave the light one checked. But I will spell the right. Boom. So this is our beginning and ending period, and those are our bookends of history. We won't create anything that goes before this, and we won't create anything that goes after this. And then we're all in agreement on this, still communal. Then we start working on our palette, which is down here. And we'll all take turns adding items or removing them. So if I want to add an item, I'll say trans ams, lots of them. And that's a yes. I want lots of trans ams in this story. Boom. So that comes under the yes column. The next player comes up and he wants to, or she wants to contribute something. And they say, no vampires. Probably not necessary in this game, but it's always good to say no vampires. Or else they suddenly leak in there. Um, and then you just go back and forth, adding elements, yeses and noes. So noes are absolute. So when I say no vampires, there are no vampires. There won't be any workarounds. There won't be anything, something called a vampire, which is effectively a vampire. Nope, you don't do anything like that. The yeses are sort of optional. They're there more to set a... Um, a palette of, of, of options, they don't necessarily all come in play. So a Trans Am might actually show up. Um, we take turns going around until basically we run out of ideas where we feel like it's full. I generally find like when this box down here is full of ideas, then we're good to go. Um, so that's our palette of added and banned items. Uh, group decisions are now over. Now the first pass happens. Each player makes a period of event in any order. So we come back up here to this add period or we come over here. So, major gang war starts in the city. I mentioned the warriors before, so I'm still on um, 
on that kick. So I'm going to take my turn. I'm going to add an event under that and uh, name. Um, ooh, it's a good big gang name. That's not a good big gang name, but Gummo is can merge all of the city gangs. Okay, spelled merge wrong. There we go. And for the that's actually winds up. Now that's interesting. You can say that's a light or a dark thing. I would say that's dark because that's what sets off the major gang war. So let me finish that. Even though Gummo himself was not a good person, oh god, I'm already regretting that name. Um, then the next person comes along and they create a a period or an event within this time. So he's, they're going to create something in here. Um, Again, I still don't know how to spell samurai. The samurai squad is formed, and that's a light one. Okay. So, boom. So this will be like the early days of the samurai squad. So Gummo is dead. And major gang war starts in the city. It's probably going to keep on going. Samurai squad is formed. So time, you can see here, moves from left to right. Um, and that would, that would be like our first turn. Say there's only two players and both people have added an, an event or a period. Now you notice that events are nested inside of periods and then there's scenes event, nested inside that. That's when you want to get down to a much smaller level. Uh, so we go, well, let's go ahead and do that. We decide who goes first since I'm the only player. Hey, look at me. Uh, I'll declare the focus. And that's over here. So I want to define something in particular. So I'm going to actually define this gummo. I want to know more about gummo. Why does he have such a terrible name, for example? So because I'm, I am the lens, I've determined the focus, and now everybody, when they play uh, at a period, an event, or a scene, it has to involve Gummo in some way. Now it can be anywhere on this screen, but let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna start and I'm gonna create a, actually I should make, uh, Okay, because I'm the lens, I'm able to make two nested things. So uh, I decided it's Gummo. Um, hmm, it's gonna be challenging. Okay, I'm actually going to who killed Gummo is the question. And I don't know the answer to this yet. Uh, the scene will be at the great meeting place. And then I'm also going to start deciding who's going to be there. So Gummo, um, Righty, Gummo's right hand man. I'm better at creating names normally. You have to trust me on that. I'm not better at spelling. And. J fast leader of the zip crew. Oh god, these are terrible names. But that's fine. It is just a demo. I have to put a dash there. Okay, so we have there'll be three characters in this scene, and we're gonna determine who killed Gummo. And then of the other players, they'll get to pick this. So this is where the this is why it's a role-playing game, because we do a little bit of role playing at the scene to determine whatever the answer is. Um, and we're going to say, this is, I, I say I can't role play a scene by myself, or just there'd be even more awkward than this video already is. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump to the answer, which is an option. You, if you don't feel like role playing, uh, you don't have to. Uh, put a little twist on it. Gummy, ready killed him out of my. Mercy. So, uh, bu -bu -bu. and then is this light or is this dark? This is actually light because Righty was well intentioned. All right. 
and my scene should be somewhere there. We'll see if it comes back. Okay. Hopefully this works, otherwise that would be it's really awkward. Okay. Um, because I was the lens, I was able to create the two events nesting inside each other, but I didn't. And then everyone else takes a turn adding events, but they all have to relate, relate to Gummo. So, uh, so Gummo's son is appointed to the chief of police. Let's just call him Donnie. And that's a light thing. Ah, hey, there's my scene appeared. It takes a little time sometimes. Um, and that would be the, the next person's turn. So we come all the way around, and then as the lens, I get one more turn to add another element uh, involving Gummo, which I'm not going to do just because I don't want to fill this up too much. And then that's over. Now the person after me is the legacy, and that's the stand down here. And of everything that was played in the last round, they get to pick something that they like that they want to be a focus of. So let's say they like the idea of Donnie. Donnie's now the legacy, and because they have determined that Donnie's a legacy, they can add something relating to Donnie. Uh, so Donnie retires. It's a pretty weak event, but I'm going to play with it anyway. Oh, come on. Retirement's a good thing. There we go. Okay, so I've met the criteria for this. Uh, I've decided that Donnie was the legacy and then add an element to it. And that's sort of a way of getting, getting a little room to breathe in here to sort of flesh out ideas that people like. As we go on, more legacies will be determined and uh, the person after the lens gets to play off that legacy. They can play off their own legacy or one of the ones that is established. Or they don't have to play a legacy at all, just use one of the existing ones and leave them there. And that's the gist of the game. We just keep taking turns, picking a new lens, picking a new focus, adding, taking a turn around and adding elements. The palette stays the same, but the legacies and the focus rotate. And then when you're done, you just sort of have this continuity all laid out. Um, again, this is just sort of like minds bouncing off each other. So there it is. I hope you're interested in contributing to this. Uh, my plan is to have three other writers like myself zoom in and record it and, and uh, turn it on as a regular YouTube channel. Thank you.